Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am Samantha the Introvert. Today I will be giving my personal review on episode 11 of Our Sky 2, A Boss and a Babe. I already did my reviews on episode 1 and 2, which is Never Let Me Go, 3 and 4, which is Star in My Mind, 5 and 6, which is Eclipse, 7 and 8, which is Vice Versa, and 9 and 10, which is My School President. Links are in the description below, so without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so we're in some role playing or some multiverse. Either way, chairs in the boss's chair as the boss. Gun looks miserable. What is wrong with him? He doesn't like this role? Well, Gun has some attitude that needs adjusting. I knew it! I knew it was a role play. See, I knew it! This thing in my head is not there for decoration. I knew it was some type of life lesson Cher was teaching Gun. Okay, two weeks before the role playing, Cher is letting us know why he did the role play. Cher said ever since him and Gun got in a relationship, he sometimes go to the company to see everyone. This is so sweet. It must be a busy season. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What? Gun moved out of his condo to live with Cher in the tiny apartment. I was not expecting this. They're killing me with their cuteness. Cher even putting Gun in his ASMR channel. It's funny how faith works. Gun was once a fan of Cher. Now he is Cher's boyfriend. Gun just came out of the blue and told Cher he must stop coming to the company. His reason is that because Cher plays game, he gets tired so he must rest. But Cher finds it suspicious and thinks Gun is hiding something from him. Huh? Who's Boom? It seems Gun is sleep talking. Boy, tell your man what's on your mind. Hey, who's Boom? Each time Cher asks Gun about work, Gun will tell him it's okay, but it makes Gun look even more suspicious to Cher. Cher asks Gun who Boom is because he was sleep talking and calling out Boom, but Gun said he has no idea what Cher is talking about. Jesus, by the time you're done brushing, you have no teeth left and a mouthful of blood. Why are you brushing it so hard? Game is life. But isn't she or should be on a verge of looking for work? It's obvious your friends notice something is wrong with you, Cher. Spill the beans. Cher asks Zoe if he ever hears the calls another guy's name out of his mouth while sleeping, what will he do? And Joe said he's a dead man. Cher is then explaining how Gun was sleep talking, calling out boom. Okay, they're overthinking this. We talking about a guy who was miserable when Cher left him. Why would he cheat? Cher is imagining that this boom person is Gunn's new intern. Now Cher is stalking Gunn to find this mystery man. Black suits Cher so much. I love this look. Cher said no one will recognize him, but if the security recognizes you, that's not a good disguise. See, everyone sees right through your disguise. Cher sees Ai, and even she is acting very suspicious. What's really going on? What the hell is this? Please explain this situation, Gun, because this don't look good. Oh, people were there. <clears throat> so wait, Jack was there? Why didn't Why didn't Jack tell Cher what's going on? What kind of friend are you? You see, if you would have told Cher, none of this would have happened in the first place. Also, Boom is not a person. Boom is just the name of the new project, and it's called Booming, not Boom. Oh my god! Cher is making sure he knows that you're not hiding anything if it's even if he have to be in the meeting. Hey, we're making sure that the new intern don't make no romantic nothing with you. We know how it started with you and Cher. Good God, sir. Can none of your response be not so meanly critic? No wonder Cher be role-playing. So there are two ways to reason with Gun. 
reason with him as a boyfriend or reason with him as a person which one you're gonna attack him with god needs rest he is overworking himself this is a good idea share they say meditation is good for the body mind and soul how many more habs does this man have to pack in you know share people have different ways of distressing themselves and these are not guns way that's why they're not working for him guns cheerfulness is creeping them out yes don't smile please why the hell he looks like a creepy looking vanquilla he looks like a puppet sure this is nothing to be proud of he's scary it's killing him but share, sometimes you have to be stern on people to get things done. He broke, he broke, he broke. Share, he couldn't take it anymore. You know, you did your best, but no. Homegirl resigning. She couldn't take the heat. But hold up, where's Hink? Why I can't see her? It's been a while since I've seen a kiss. What did Share plan now? This is your big plan? Making the lovey-dovey couples argue? Would it work though? I know I said this before, but let Jack in on your plans that you guys have. Get him involved. Well, that went not so planned. So this is why he decided to do the role play. I don't think the problem is how the boss treats the employees. I think the whole issue is to see how it feels to walk in each other's shoes. And I feel Cheryl will find out being a boss is not as easy as he thinks. Whoa, sure smacking that booty. Ooh. Okay, guys, that is the end of my review on episode 11 of Our Sky 2, A Boss and a Babe. Stay tuned for my review on episode 12. And as always, if you like my review, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.